Ghirardelli's Square, the home of the famous ice cream and chocolate shop. It's really nice down this, uh, in this area. The San Francisco Bay over there. Some nice shops as well down here. So we have decided to sit down at Iridelli's. Carl, uh, Richard has just got a latte. Kai has got a thick chocolate milkshake, a chocolate brownie, and me and Harvey are sharing one of their famous um, waff. What's it called? Waffle dipped, dipped uh, waffle, waffle cone. Hot fudge um, Sunday. So that looks really nice. So me and Harvey are going to have that between us. So um, yeah, we're going to tuck in. So we are now at Lombard Street, also known as Zig Zag Hill. So we're just right near the top of it. And we're going to walk all the way down there um, because you can see the zigzag better from the bottom than you can from the top. That's what it looks like from up here. So we're going to walk all the way down and then all the way back up again. Yes. <laughs> Which is going to be very tiring. Down will be all right. It's getting back up, but it might be a problem, but um, we'll be fine. So next, after all the exploring and walking, we have decided to come to this restaurant for our evening meal. It's really quiet, so that's fine by us. Really like the decor in here and the vibe in here. So to start off with, we have ordered some warm bread from the Boudon Bakery, the famous bakery in San Francisco, and some butter. So this is what we're going to have for our starter. So the main meals have come. So Harvey has got burger with fries. Me and Kai have got the same. We've both got the steak sandwich medium with lettuce, tomato with fries. Richard has got the Reuben toasted sandwich, which is corn, beef, cheese. Um, I don't know what else. Sauerkraut. <laughs> sauerkraut. Yeah. So, I'm going to tuck in now. 
So we have arrived back at our hotel after our meal and we have decided to come up to the Sky Bar. This is on the 46th floor of the hotel. So as you can see, it has got absolutely amazing views of San Francisco up here. You can see everything from up here. It's really nice, quite posh in here. Because we was in there quite early, obviously it was still light. So you could really see out the windows and could see everything really well. Um, it was also nice to go in in the evening though because everything was little. But we wanted to go in before it got too busy. Quite expensive in here. The drinks were, as you can imagine, um, in a sky bar in a hotel. But definitely worth it for the views. Um, really nice area. So yeah, we decided to come up here and uh, Richard had a beer. I had a cocktail. And um, yeah, the kids just add some uh, Coke and mocktails. So yeah, um, really enjoyed this. Absolutely amazing views. Morning. So we are on our last full day in San Francisco. So we are up early again. So we are going to go for a swim and in the jacuzzi before we get ready to go out and make the most of our last day. So yeah, we fly to Los Angeles um, in the morning, really early. What time is our flight? 6.05 Six <coughs> in the morning. We're flying um, from here to Los Angeles um, on Delta. So yeah, so we're going to go for a swim now and then make the most of our last full day. Yeah, so I've got my coffee from the room. Need that at this time in the morning. It's all right, it's not bad. <laughs> it's not as good as a Starbucks or a Costa, but you know. Um, yeah, so we're gonna go in the pool now and then I will vlog later. We are going to see the Painted Ladies today, which are some famous colorful houses, if you don't know. We are going to see the house uh, that was in Mrs. Doubtfire. Uh, because we absolutely love that film and yeah we're going to do everything that we didn't get done uh you know everything else we want to get done before we uh fly to los angeles so yeah we don't want to go to bed too late because obviously we've got to get up really early but we've been getting up really early anyway because of the jet lag um and and yeah that'll be it for san francisco so today will be the last day in uh san francisco so yeah i'll film um a bit later on so this morning for breakfast, we've gone to our old favourite, Starbucks. So Rich has had a flat white, I've had a cappuccino. Um, Harvey and Kaya have both had a caramel frappuccino with no coffee. Me and Kaya have had a bacon, uh, egg and cheese sandwich. And they've had, Richard and Harvey have had uh, sausage egg and cheese uh, muffins so yeah just a starbucks for breakfast this morning and then we are going to get off on our way for our last day so the first port of call today now we have had our breakfast is the city hall which is the building in front of us looks um, stunning lots of monuments and statues and things around here um, then we are en route to see the painted painted ladies of Mrs Doubtfire's house. Uh, we've just had done a little detour to have a look at City Hall. Um, yeah, en route. So we are really enjoying San Francisco. Definitely recommend coming. It's a really nice city. There are quite a lot of homeless people in San Francisco. I think it's quite well known for it. Um, but Obviously, we've had no problems up to now or anything from anything like that. I think um, it's important to see um, different cities in the world anyway, and it's good for the kids to see um, what life is sometimes like, I think, what life is sometimes like for other people. Um, but everybody is really friendly here. Um, yeah, we've met some really nice people, haven't we? Yeah. And everyone's been really friendly. So, yeah, we're really enjoying it. Um, so far, I've had no problems. So, yeah, this is City Hall.
So here we are in Alamo Square. It's a beautiful park. I'll just spin you around so you can see some of it. We're not right in the main part of it at the minute. And then over the road are the famous painted ladies. That group of houses there are some of the painted ladies. Yeah, this is Alamo Square. So we'll have a we'll wander up and see what else is up there. So a nice little park there for the children. I think I would have loved that when they were smaller. Get a bit of a better view from up here. It's always nice when there's green areas in the mid middle of a city, isn't it? <laughs> Over there, the Lady Falcon little coffee, coffee bus. Oh, I'm puffed out. We've walked quite a way to get here. Been walking for about 40 minutes. So I'm a little bit puffed out. There's Richard right over there. Tennis courts. Nice view from up here. Let's move over and go over with Harvey. Get some photos. So, I'll see you all later. So, we are just walking down the hill now to see the house. Um, noisy. To see the house where Mrs. Doubtfire was filmed and so San Francisco Bay is at the bottom there in the distance. It's a beautiful day here today. Um, yesterday it was a little bit colder. Obviously you get a lot of fog and it's quite windy and breezy as well here. But today the sun is shining, the sky is really blue and yeah it's a beautiful day so let me show you the house in all its glory there it is over there it's got a wreath on the door stop sign there and that is i think it's 2640 steiner street i think and that is it does anybody recognize it from the film <laughs> So we have now come to see the Palace of Fine Arts. As you can see, it's beautiful around here. A um, few people around this area. Um, the area around Mrs. Doubtfire's house and around here is really nice. Loads of really nice houses, um, beautiful streets, very clean. Yeah, so yeah, here we are at the Palace of Fine Arts you a bit of a spin around that way first and then walk over here so we can get a bit of a better view of it so there it is so yeah like i said earlier really nice day today absolutely beautiful weather nice little bit of a breeze so it doesn't feel like too red hot um, like it will in Los Angeles and definitely in Las Vegas. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know how we're going to get on in Las Vegas with the heat. I think we might be inside all the time in the aircon. Either that or in the pool at the hotel, maybe. Um, but yeah, so here we are. And um, yeah, I'll see you all uh, later. I thought I would just um, tell you a little bit about the Palace of Fine Arts. I don't want the vlog to be a history lesson, um, but I just thought I'd uh, let you know a little bit about what it was and what it is now. So it was originally built for the 1915 Panama Pacific Exhibition, but um, the Palace of Fine Arts is now used for corporate events, weddings, uh, private galas, any events like that. Um, it's a very popular venue and um, yeah, it's obviously a stunning building as you can see. 
So um, yeah, I just wanted to uh, let you know what it what it was in case anybody was wondering. So we are just about to walk over the Golden Gate Bridge. Should take about 15 to 20 minutes walk, so it's not it's not too far. Um, the fog obviously um, is uh, covering it up a little bit, but yeah, we are in uh, Fog City or whatever they call <laughs> San Francisco. So yeah, um, but you can still see it obviously, but uh, not right at the far end. It's covered a bit with the fog. There's the bay. So yeah, we're gonna get going. So it's just gone 3 o'clock in the morning and we are just checking out of the Hilton in San Francisco, ready for our flight to LA. So that is where I am going to leave today's video. So the next video will be in Los Angeles. So I hope you have enjoyed watching the San Francisco one and I will see you all in the next video if you've enjoyed watching. Please click like and subscribe and yeah, uh, signing out from San Francisco. See you soon. Bye.